In Outlook 2019, there is a way that you can see the size of your mailbox. So let's take a look. First, we'll go to the File menu, and then we'll go down to where it says Tools. Now, you can see mailbox settings. You can see a little bit about the size of your mailbox. So it says here that um, basically I'm using just under one gigabyte, so I don't have a, a really large mailbox here. But you can see additional information by going to the mailbox cleanup tool and clicking on the view mailbox size. Now we see the local data I'm using is a total of about, uh, well, it says 12,000 kilobytes, which is about 12 megabytes. So it's not a real big mailbox, but it just gives you an idea of how to see this. And so you can see what each folder has in size-wise. Now, if you go to the server data, it's going to go, it's going to take a little bit longer to have this pop up, but it'll go and see how much data you have on the server. And in this particular case, you're going to see that there's more data on the server. You see 13 megabytes instead of just 12. So why is that? In your case, it might even be a greater difference. Well, that's because when you delete emails, it's going to stay on the server mailbox for up to 30 days by default. You can also change that to be longer or shorter. Now, the other reason that you may see a different amount uh, of, of different size server to local data is, is by how much data you're caching. So let's go to, let's click on back and we'll click on file and account settings. There we go, account settings. And if you double click on your account, then you can see how much you're caching. Now I'm caching all of my emails. So basically the difference between the server and the local data is just the deleted emails. But in your case, you might see that it's set to, you know, maybe by the by default, which is either three or six months. And so you're going to see a lot less locally cached data. So if you want to see all of your email, uh, when you know cached locally, so that way you can see that email even uh, if you're offline, then make sure you slide that to all. We're back in our mailbox tool showing the size and the total size of all of our different folders and subfolders as well. There's nothing you can really do with this data right here. The only way to, you can really clear that out or make changes to it is by clicking the empty to empty the deleted items folder permanently so that way uh, it'll match the server and local copy or you can delete other uh, items as well.